Okay, okay. Welcome everyone, uh, whoever and wherever you are, to this week's Cuba Community Meeting. It is the 19th of June. Um, yeah, what a wonderful time to be alive. Um, we've still got some people filing in. Um, if any of these people are new to the community and you would like to uh, introduce yourselves or just say a quick good day, um, you're more than welcome. Uh, leave a message in uh, chat. We'll jump to the schedule, have a look at our CFP check-in, and then come back. And uh, yeah, if you've dropped something in chat, um, we'll come back and you can say good day. So schedule. Last week, if I remember correctly, while well, this takes a thousand years to load, oh, that's pretty quick. Um, we had our feature freeze. And I believe the branch has been cut. Uh, is anyone here on the line able to confirm that? Yes, it happened. Cool. Thank you, Eddie. Uh, which means we've now got, what is it, two weeks? Uh, uh, July 3rd, however long we have until July 3rd, uh, and we'll have our KubeVert version 1.3 release. Um, the 1.4 schedule uh, PR is currently up, if anyone wants to look at it. Um, we're just deciding on a release date. Where am I? Upcoming CFP, I have not updated this, but we'll have a look anyway. Nothing. Uh, I'm sure that's not true. Let's have a quick look through the KCDs. Also. Um, okay, I've got a KCD in Austria, uh, Portugal, Australia of all places, um, Chattergram, London, and Washington, D.C. Uh, if you are at or interested in going to those places, uh, you can find all the information here. The Austria one will close real soon. We'll have another quick look at the DevOps days as well. I think there's one happening in Berlin as we speak. So I've got uh, Caceres, I think that's in Spain, Tampa Bay, Cairo, Belo Horizonte, Boston, Noao Pessoa, Warsaw, and Bogota. And they are, that runs us to the start of November. So again, if you're at or near these places, um, that might be of interest to you. And if you do submit and you are accepted, please let me know. And I can promote it in this session. And on the thing we were just looking at. All right. No one has said that they wish to introduce themselves. Um, we'll give some more time at the end if you change your mind. We have a fairly light agenda, and it looks like it's one where I do too much talking. So please bear with me. Um, yeah, in less than a week's time, we have our QBERT Summit. I would like to think that everyone in this room has already registered, but just in case you haven't, um, you can do so here through this link. It is free. It is $0.00, .00 in any currency. Um, uh, you, the only requirement is that you have to create a login. Anyone who joined last year will have the login already created. Um, there's also our... Um, Twitter account put something out yesterday, and the CNCF have also put something out. Um, so if you'd like to share either of those, uh, they're both there for you. Um, yeah, um, please spread. Um, it would be lovely to have um, more people present there this year than last year, as always. Uninterrupted growth. Videos, demos, and blogs. Um, if you have anything interesting to share, and I'm sure you do, we would love to hear from you. Uh, this can be any, all of the above, or anything that I don't have. Um, uh, it's been pointed out that uh, we have some videos on our website which are horribly out of date, and um, I do not have the capacity to create good, interesting content. I need help from everyone in the community. Um, so if 
especially uh, a good overview would be good. Um, it's a lot of goods. Um, blogs we also need and uh, demo videos. Um, a lot of the demos and the videos we have are up to seven years old. And I think the most recent is two years old. So there's a lot of features that have come out since then. I'm sure even if it's just 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, something short. Um, if you don't feel comfortable talking on camera, we can do a screen cap. We can do a, a written transcript and, and feed that into the YouTube machine um, and figure it out from there. So uh, please, please, please. I don't want to beg. Um, but eventually, I probably will. Um, please let me know. Last week, there was a bunch of us at DevConf. Um, yes, thank you, Kvaps. Uh, it was really good to see a whole bunch of Kubert folk together. Um, I think it's our largest gathering of Kubert people in person of the year. Um, and thanks for everyone who helped out at the booth or outside of the booth just talking about Kubert and answering people's questions. Really helpful. Uh, does anyone have any comments or questions on anything that has been said? I see a link being added. Okay. To our open floor, we have a new design proposal. This was uh, went up today, and I believe the author is here. Yeah, this mm. is me. Hi. Hello. Uh, uh, you want to say a quick uh, something about this? Yeah, if you don't uh, know me, uh, so I'm Nachshon. I'm working uh, for uh, Red Hat, uh, mostly in the HCO team. And... Um, this is part of uh, effort about uh, quality of the, not only the, the project I'm working on, but in the uh, the Kubernetes project in general. So um, I think that uh, our use of uh, GoLang uh, context is uh, left behind in a way, in all over the the project, I guess. But I think it will be uh, a bit much easier to fix it first on in uh, our end-to-end -end test. Now um, I followed the Kubernetes test uh, guidelines, kind of uh, not not adopted as as is, but uh, close to it, and uh, followed also the guidelines from Gingo itself. Uh, to use uh, because uh, let let me start over. Um, each time we are calling uh, using, for example, the um, uh, the client to reach the the uh, cluster, uh, we are using uh, a context background, which means uh, creating a new context. Uh, so we have no um, we benefit nothing from it. We, we're just giving a, a context to satisfy the API of the client, but um, the, the caller, which is uh, in fact uh, Gingo, can't cancel our call if it need. And, but Gingo can uh, provide us a, a context for, uh, from its own. And if we, are use, we will use this uh, context, um, it will give uh, Gingo the uh, possibility to cancel everything uh, in case of termination, of uh, uh, go routine uh, termination, uh, whatever. It's much safer, I think. Especially if we are running multiple uh, tests in parallel. So, uh, this proposal is about adding these uh, new uh, guidelines or uh, uh, coding standard to, uh, for uh, in Kubevert Kubevert and then uh, apply them uh, slowly because it's huge and also ask the uh, uh, code reviewers to um, ask the uh, changes if they see a new code with uh, 
uh, context, uh, background, or uh, to do. This is mostly it. Cool. Thank you very much for the um, the description. Does anyone have any questions for Nishan? All righty. Well, if you think of something later, you know where the PR is. So drop it into there. Thank you. Okie dokie. Uh, we've got, so both our pull requests and our bug scrub queue uh, were empty. So I'd like to thank everyone for um, being so wonderful and getting on top of them. Um, that is a, a true pleasure every week when I come by and there's next to nothing for us to look at in the triage sessions. We just have one thing. It was a question. It might have been answered since I put this here. I came to the man list this morning. How do I output VM kernel logs to the host? In order to troubleshoot faults when a VM crashes, the kernel logs in VM need to be output to the host in real time. I've done this. How can the logs be collected on the host machine? That's an interesting proposal. An interesting proposal. Not sure how can you do this? Probably uh, connecting through the console and adding sidecar who is reading from it. But that's just an idea. Maybe there might be some future for uh, adding sidecar who is redirecting all the logs of the VM into separate container. That exists already. Really? Like a guest agent? No, it's a, there is a logger that uh, takes all the logs from the console. But yeah, but that means that someone is in the guest to put the correct, to output everything to the console. PV panic device. Uh, Vladek, would you like to speak to that by any chance? Um, I mean, it's a long, long story. In general, there is a PV panic device that uh, that allows you to um, to monitor crash down, uh, like a kernel crashes. Whenever something like this happens, uh, it would just dump. Um, it, it would just dump everything into a, a, like a known location. I mean, if that known location is the PVC that you uh, added ahead of time, uh, then it would dump it. But we don't have this functionality. We never developed it, so it's. Uh, just like a long shot. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's not a, a supported option that we can point people towards. No, something that can be developed. But uh, I mean, we had this uh, uh, speculated, like circulating for a very long time. Oh, so there's currently no solution to this problem or request. Uh, the serial that? console logger. The serial console logger might might do it. I think it was recently added. I'm just going to add the PR here, and that should capture the logs from the serial console of the VM, um, which should capture the kernel logs as well. Cool. All right. Well, I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure if we have documentation to the point to do though. 
point. Ah, uh, you mean a PR was merged without an associated documentation PR? I am aghast. Oh. Uh, well, I'll have a look at the docs and see if. Oh, it's definitely discussed. Holy moly. Um, and see if anything that we can uh, uh, find that might help this user. I think it's now off by default because Pepper's of student. security issues. Sorry, I, I missed a bit of that. What was that, Nishan? Uh, as far as I know, it was originally uh, just working and it was now turned off by default. Uh, because uh, security concern raised about it. Ah, uh, okay. If someone was to ignore that security concern, would, is it relatively simple to re-enable it? If I'm not, I, I don't remember the details, but I think it's just high, uh, behind the feature gate or, or something like that. I don't remember. I mean, you can activate it. Activate it, if you like. Okay. Wonderful. Well, we have a potential something to, to pass on this person. That brings us to, unless anyone else has a last minute thought to add to that topic. And if you do, uh, you're more than welcome. I will, I will uh, craft a short response uh, saying, that's what we've discussed. Um, and please pile on with uh, corrections and additions. Um, one last thing I did want to say, it is Spirit and Cubert Summit once again. But we also have a, a different website we can point people towards. It's not even registration, but it is on our uh, Qbert site, um, and this is slightly easy to update, so this is a faster update. Um, yeah, oh, by the way, I didn't tell you the dates. June 24th, 25th, but you already knew that. Uh, midday until 5 o'clock UTC, um, so wherever you are, you'll have to figure out what time that is. However, the event registration site should, underlined, um, update the times based on your... Uh, time zone. So in that regard, this is the better schedule to look at. Um, yeah, that brings us to the end of this meeting. Uh, we can call up there unless someone has anything they'd like to ask or add at the end. In that case, I bid you adieu. Thank you very much for joining us and for all the work that you do in the community. Um, it is a, yeah, I, I'm very much looking forward to next week, Monday, Tuesday. Um, hope to see you all there. It will be, it'll be big. Please tell your friends, tell your colleagues, tell your neighbors. Um, and thank you very much. We'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Thanks. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. Thank you.